Hi folks, this is Mike with Eminem Precision Painting. This channel is dedicated to show you what the pros know so you can do it yourself. In today's video, we're going to show you guys how we spray this trim. Um, we're also going to show you guys how we paint, paint interior doors. For that, stay tuned. But before you do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and here we go, guys. Alright guys, so tip we're using today is a Graco FFLP that stands for Fine Finish Low Pressure. This one is a 412. I like to use a 414, 412-ish in that area. Um, this is the trim we're going to be spraying. I'm going to show you guys how to spray this when the walls aren't painted yet. And then I'm going to also show you guys, run, run you guys through real quick on how to spray this trim while the walls are painted. So to, so to mask, to keep the actual paint off the wall itself if the walls are finished. Um, I do have videos on how to set these up. I'll put a link up here that you guys can hit to show you how to set these aerosols up and even how to clean them. Um, that being said, after you get your airless set up, you want to adjust your pressure so that you're not getting any fingering. And what I mean by that is you want a, a good faded out spray pattern on these. I think I got a little clog there, but that's okay. Um, once you get a nice faded out spray pattern, so you don't get any rough sharp edges here or like a line on the outside of that. That's what they call fingering. Um, that being said, once you get your pressure to, to your desired spray fan pattern, we'll just start spraying. And since we haven't, and since we haven't um, painted these walls yet, it's okay to get some overspray on the wall because after we're gonna mask right here, we're gonna let this dry and cure for a day or two. And then we're gonna mask right here and we're gonna come back and we're gonna spray our walls. <clears throat> All right. Um, so the main thing you wanna do is never start and stop on your trim. So you wanna start somewhere off here and just keep a motion to where you never, you don't ever wanna start and then let go of your trigger on this. So it would be a sweeping motion. So you're gonna, see how I didn't stop on the trim itself? And that's just how you're gonna wanna do that. Now, important thing to know is also you want to wear, want to wear, wear a respirator. Um, I'm not doing it for the purposes of this video. Of course, I can't talk if I have one on. So, but that being said, you're going to want to wear a respirator. Also, when you're putting your paint on, <coughs> you'll be able to look at it and tell. It's better to go light than go too thick. If you go too thick, it's going to run on you. So, you're just going to... You never stop directly on it or start directly on it. So if you start, never started, never stopped and started on the actual trim itself. Anytime I started and stopped, I was off the trim. Come out here, I'm off the trim, and I stopped out here. If you don't do that, you guys, come on. if you don't do that, you guys, <coughs> you're going to get spits on your trim and it's not going to be smooth. Also, when you're spraying your trim, you want to make sure you angle the top to get that top piece. <laughs> and then when you come down here, angle this. Always overlap 50%. So, half this on my next run. 50%. See what I mean? So. And then you want to get half the fan width and point down at that angle so that you're getting the top really well. All right, guys, that's how we spray trim on these new constructions when the walls aren't painted yet. Next, I'll show you guys how to mask in case you want to preserve your walls and they're already painted and you're just painting the trim for that. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so now I'm going to show you if the walls by chance are painted already and you just want to spray your trim. Um, I'm going to show you how we mask that off. We're just using a 3M hand masker. This is 3M 2020. Considering we're spraying, the kind of tape used isn't necessarily as important as it would be if we were brushing and rolling. I would use a uh, special kind of frog tape generally when we uh, brush and roll just because it stops bleed through. It has a special adhesive or compound on the edge of the tape that when it gets wet, it swells to decrease the amount of bleed through. That being said, Gonna rip some of this guy off, and it's pretty easy, you guys. You just grab yourself some section, and then all you're gonna do is get this to the line you want it, 
get yourself a nice straight line here and just work your way down so you're essentially just masking where you don't want the paint to get pretty pretty easy um, and you would do this literally <clears throat> all the way around <clears throat> all the way around your trim um, if you guys want to come up here real quick I'll show you same thing this mask here around we'll put a piece here then you would put piece here piece here came apart so you see you would run a piece all the way up of course run a piece here nice and straight you see I left the mark there normally I have a piece a roll of tape on my hand so that would be like your extra tape and then you could put this guy in that corner any excess over here you guys you're gonna to wanna to take your nice sharp razor, just cut it off, clean it up. That way you know you got a nice straight edge. So yeah, that's essentially what you're gonna do. <clears throat> and then you're gonna repeat the same process that we did in there. Um, get you a couple pieces of tape. And you're gonna follow this pattern all the way around your trim. Anywhere you don't want it to get on the walls. Then the same exact way we sprayed over there, you're gonna spray here. Down at an angle here, flat here. Never start and stop on your trim and you guys should be good to go. Next, I'm gonna show you guys how we paint interior doors. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, so this is one way to paint interior doors. Um, a lot of times if you're painting the wall already, you haven't painted your trim yet, you can just lean it on the wall. Um, Paint one side, flip it over after it dries, paint the other side. Um, as you guys can see, look over here, we've got a lot of these and there's probably about 20 more of those. So that being said, you can line these up all in this room before you paint these walls. Paint one side, go do something else while they're drying, come back the next day, flip them, paint the other side. Your walls and trim in this area aren't painted yet, so you don't have to worry about anything. Eventually they're gonna get carpet in here. Right now they're not, so we're taking advantage of the opportunity of it being pretty much an uh, open workspace. That being said, first thing you wanna do, these have, are pre-primed from the factory. But if you see little stuff like this, somehow someone got caulking on it or whatever, you wanna take, sand it out. You want this thing to be smooth. <clears throat> and you're gonna go around your door, you're gonna make sure all this is off. There's no some more right here. You can use a five in one, be gentle. Take that off. And then in general, I usually just go over it with a piece of sandpaper. It helps you feel because your palm rubs against it. It kind of helps you feel the door in a roundabout way so that you uh, know that you don't have any garbage on there. And then you take a rag, you're just going to want to dust it. Dust it off. And make sure it's free of any dirt, dust, things of that nature. We're using the exact same tip. Okay, you guys, um, we're going to use the exact same pressure. Exact same airless, everything's the same. It's the same setup we use on the trim. That being said, what I will do is I'm gonna spray this in an up and down motion. That being said, I'm gonna turn my tip this way. So instead of my spray fan pattern being side to side, now it's this way. See there? <coughs> so now <coughs> we're gonna get, do a 50% overlap on every pass. Same thing, never start and stop on the door. So I'm gonna take my spray down here, overlap the door, up, overlap over there. 
overlap, overlap. And then a 50%. Now you wanna pay attention to what, how much paint you're putting on. You don't wanna go too fast and you don't wanna go too slow. So we'll start at the top. Okay, you see how that goes? 50% um, overlap. You wanna maintain the same distance and speed consistent all the way through, okay? And I'll spray these out normally. <clears throat> Sometimes I won't even stop. Like I literally will not stop spraying. So if I got a line of doors, I'll just go all the way down the line and never stop spraying. Another important fact, one more you guys. You wanna, on these particular areas here, you've gotta make sure you're straight. If you're this way, your paint's gonna shoot over and you're gonna get less paint right here. See what I mean? So. All right, you guys. So, just for, just so you guys know, I do have videos on how we normally do these in garages. So if you're at your house, you got an empty space in your garage, you got some doors you wanna repaint. I do have a video, I'll put a link up here, and uh, how, to set, how we set these doors up. We have a little system where we set these doors up so that you can spray them all at once on both sides. Saves you a lot of time. Um, that being said, that's how we spray these doors. Any respectable painter is gonna do two coats, so we're gonna come back and do a second coat. Some people like to go side to side on this coat in case they missed anything in their cracks. I normally don't, two coats is, is uh, good enough up and down, 50% overlap, constant speed, constant stay consistent distance, consistent speed, and uh, never start and stop on it. Pretty easy, you guys. So that's how we paint interior doors and trim. Don't forget to subscribe, you guys. Hit that thumbs up button, share this video, leave uh, comments if you have any questions, and that's it for now. We'll see you later.